Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, and this is my daily devotion for Friday, November 19th. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> I want to uh, uh, say to you that this week we've been talking about uh, the second phrase of our mission statement here at Central United Methodist Church. Our mission statement is very simple and straightforward. It says Central CUMC, uh, connecting with God, connecting with others, changing our world with Christ's love. And this week we've been considering what it means to connect with others. And of course, we connect with others in, in two vital ways. One is that we connect uh, with each other as fellow disciples of Jesus Christ to become the living body of Christ in the world today. The other way that we connect is uh, with others in need. And as I said uh, yesterday, I think it was just yesterday, that our, our uh, abilities you know, connected and intersected with somebody's needs is ministry. That point of intersection is where ministry happens. And so we are to use our abilities, our God-given gifts, to make a difference in the lives of others in the world today. That, that is how together we become the living body, the living presence of Christ in the world today. And some of us are called with very specific gifts. Some have a, the gift of music and offer beautiful and wonderful music. Uh, some uh, have the gift of, of, uh, of administration and should be working on committees in the church. And some have the gifts of, uh, of kindness and uh, caring. And so they go out and uh, can care for people in our church. Uh, some have the gift of generosity and can support the church financially. So we have a lot of gifts that we can offer. Uh, to the uh, to the world. But then there are some general gifts, I guess I would say. It says in, in Paul's uh, letter to the Galatians, uh, chapter 522, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, sometimes goodness is uh, replaced with the ge word generosity. That That is, th those uh, attributes are fruit of the Spirit. OK, so we all are to to share that fruit. So there's our, our specific uh, gifts that we can uh, make a difference in the world by sharing those gifts. And then there are the gifts that we all should be sharing in the world. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness uh, or generosity, faithfulness and self-control are, th are the fruit of the spirit that make a difference in all of our lives through sharing. So I want you to think about how do you share love? How do you share joy? How do you share peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control? Those are the things that people will be looking at when they see you interact in the world today. Maybe not for the Maybe you're not out there saying, oh, I'm going to change the world right now and I'm putting on my discipleship hat and I'm going to go out and, and uh, share God's good news. But just in your everyday interactions, you should be thinking, how is my life demonstrating the fruit of the spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? Are you gentle in your dealings with those uh, in the store with the clerks and and cashiers? Are you kind to those who need a helping hand? <coughs> are, you, are you loving in, in the words that you use? Do you exhibit joy uh, as a follower of Christ? All those attributes are part of everyone's witness in the world today, everyone's presence as, as, uh, as disciples of Christ in the world. And then I, I say that further, you need to use your specific gifts and graces, whether it be music or administration or whatever gift it is that you have that you can offer to the life of the church and to the world that will make a difference in the life of another. That's what it means to connect with others. Let's, uh, let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the opportunity to come together this week to talk about how we connect with each other within the church and then with those who are in need in our communities where we live, play, and work. Help us, Lord, to keep connected 
with the needs of the world, that we may know those needs well, learn about them, and see how we can share in bearing those burdens and alleviating those pains. Gracious God, be with us that we may exhibit the fruit of the Spirit in the world today along with our great and wondrous gifts which you have bestowed upon us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey friends, it's Friday. Uh, hopefully, you've had a, uh, hopefully you've had a good week. We encourage you to join us for worship on Sunday. Uh, that's uh, 1030 here in person and uh, on, on, the, uh, on the internet as well. God bless you and have a great day.